Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 1 of Over the Moon for you, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Um, I know I should have let me know it. What? Did you fall and hit yourself on the head really bad? Yeah, you're on the ground. Oh, okay. No, you, you probably got, um... Ain't that funny. Tell your kid. Mom, Dad, I don't Oh. oh my god, it's a She might be best girlfriend everybody this season. I don't know. Is this supposed to be Kira Whipple? Oh my god! Pretty Kira Whipple! <laughs> ah! My favorite Pretty Kira series! Because it was the first one I reacted to. So I, I am so sorry you have that. But, you know, it's still an interesting name, though. Oh, poor baby. I would, too. They wouldn't laugh. Go, baby, go! You're so determined, like, as... I mean, are you sure, but, like, just in case? I love how determined he is, but just in case, you should have a backup and then a backup backup because you never know what's going to happen.
Okay, go NASA. Be determined as fuck. You got this. Oh, I, I think Trump can be coming. Yep, Chuck Coon. Wait. Oh, but don't worry, he'll see her again real soon. This boy just got me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. I love him so much. <laughs> Please don't get hit by anything else. He should be like in the hospital like right now. Yeah, you really need to get cleaned up. Well, yeah, we do. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, NASA. Oh my god, baby. Mm. 
Um, <laughs> oh my god. Please stay here, don't go. It's okay. Just oh. you can't have an agenda. Are you serious? Awesome. Holy fuck. Baby. I know, girl, what is your name? <laughs> Wait! Oh, okay. My boy. <laughs> Okay, please take him to the hospital. But you didn't. Oh, yeah, something's gonna happen. It's so happening. Oh, yeah, you want her. Oh, that could be her. Did this girl wait until he turned 18? <laughs> she waited. so cute. I'm sorry. Like, mm. You are also ridiculously cute, Nasa. I mean, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> 
your terms and conditions for this marriage. Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't remember? <laughs> You know what I really want to know? How in the world is Nasa going to explain this to his parents? <laughs> He's so cute. I love him so much. No, that's a good idea. I don't think Nas is perfect, either, but it's okay. You two will be fine. Yeah, at this time of night? I mean, you couldn't wait to do this in the morning? about them. <clears throat> yeah, and then when you get really, really drunk and you fall in love with somebody and you're like, yes, let's sign this. I know. Aww. He might seriously be best boy of the season because he's just so sweet.
but it makes me question why um, Sufasa went to do this so quickly. So there could be something. I don't know. Maybe a little tragic. Huh. That's just like the thing for like, okay, hey, you're almost ready for kids, but not really. But okay, how do we wait? wait, wait. Alright, since you guys are now, you know, married and stuff, we, we need rings to also commemorate this moment between the two, you two. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> I don't know who his VA is, but I love him so much. <laughs> Well, yeah, because that's what married people do, then. Ah, uh, I love him so much. So cute. Oh my god, Nasa. He's so adorable. He might have to be best boy for this season because I mean huh, he he's doing a lot better than you know <clears throat> he who will not be named until season two comes. But oh he's so sweet. I mean I think a lot of people are probably gonna say <laughs> that he is a soup. But you know what? I don't care. He's so cute. I mean Oh my god, I, I do like it, and I've seen it, we've seen it with, um, freaking best girl Hanekawa from Anakatani, where, you know, she had confessed to Agaragi, and she was like, can you go out with me, with marriage in mind, and, you know, of course, yeah, he turned him down, and even till today, I'm still fucking upset about that shit, because I still ship them no matter what. He's kind of like that, but, um... <laughs> he's just so fucking cute like oh my god but the fact is like the first girl that he falls in love with is the first girl that he you know is the girl that he's marrying as well but i have a lot of questions on sukasa and why is why are the reason she's doing this why is she immediately wanting to get married to this dude why was she the one making the deal you know hey i'll go out with you if you marry me, there's got to be something else to this. There's got to be a reason on why she's doing this. Because no girl, no typical girl is going to be like, yeah, I'm going to marry you just to marry you. There's got to be something else. Either she's having trouble at home but like before all of this happens, something. It, it's got to be something. She's a very interesting character. And not typically like most characters that... um love tries or you know the main heroine whatever that typically you know everyone's like gung-ho for but i do feel like yes this is probably the best girl of the for fall anime because 
I already like her. She's adorable. I love the fact that she says exactly how she feels. I love the fact that she hasn't laughed at NASA and she, you know, compliments his name. And even to the fact is like, and we've, every girl has done this because I know I've freaking done this. So don't even fucking lie. Maybe some boys have also done this as well. Whoever you've had a crush on, whether it's a crush from school, a crush from like wherever, some club or things you're a part of, or even a celebrity crush, you've probably put your first name and their last name together and you're like imagining everything and you're like, yeah, that has like a really nice ring to it. Except with the guys, you take the girl's name and use your last name and then boom, right there. We've all done it, so don't freaking lie. I love the fact that she did that because that's just something that's so freaking adorable. I really do like her and I cannot wait to see how, you know, their first night is going to go. Of course, <laughs> them sleeping together in the same house. I mean, I love the fact that he got Western and everything. He's just so cute. NASA is like the cutest thing. I love, 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 love the pretty cute cure whip. Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl Mode Easter Egg. I don't know if the person who animated this series also animated Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl Mode, but if it is true, like, oh my god, like, thank you. I mean, even though Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl Mode is my personal favorite because it was one of the first Pretty Cure series that I did a reaction series on and took a charge on it and stuff like that, and it was one of the most, like, it, w it was, like, kind of anticipated, but not as, like, some of the other shows that I did, Kimono Friends, Car Crafters, Kura, such, but just to have, like, an Easter egg like that and to start off the show was really good. This is such a good show, even though we're only in the first episode, but honestly, I cannot wait to see what these two are going to be doing together. Seeing, you know, Nasa fall more and more in love with Sukasa, it's just going to be so freaking cute, like, no matter what. They're just so adorable, and I want a wedding, an actual wedding wedding. That's all I want. We better get that before the end of this damn series. I swear to God. I don't want to go into the end of this show, maybe getting a season two, even though we're only on episode one, and not getting a confirmation for a marriage. Like, an actual wedding wedding where, fam where friends and family are there. I want to see that. Like, please. You you owe me. You owe everybody who's freaking watching this show. <laughs> But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode one of Over the Moon for you. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode two. Bye, guys.